Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. In order to approach this practice question, Obviously, we need to have an understanding of how a mass spectrometer works. But first of all, let's talk about the purpose of a mass spectrometer. The purpose of a mass spectrometer is to determine the mass of a particle. Okay, And the way it works is that we're basically exciting these particles, causing these particles to fly into a chamber that has a magnetic field. And if you remember learning about magnetic fields in physics, you'll know that a magnetic field exerts a force on a particle. And the equation for force is F equals MA, right? So if you have a large mass, that means that the acceleration must be lower on that mass if the force remains constant, right? So imagine if a large particle is coming through here, it's going to curve with a larger curve because the acceleration is less. The centripetal acceleration is less. Therefore, it's going to travel a larger distance than a smaller particle, right? So a smaller particle would curve much more quickly due to having a greater centripetal acceleration. And now this detector will say, oh, it looks like this large particle traveled with a distance of 10 meters. Therefore, my large particle must be, I don't know, maybe 5 AMU, right? Whereas my small particle, it only traveled maybe, let's say it only traveled 5 meters. So maybe it's going to tell me that its mass is 2 AMU, right? And so the detector will know, based on how far uh, the particle traveled, its mass. So this is an awesome way to determine the mass of very, very small particles. Now let's return to the question, which is asking us, of the following ions, which will have the smallest radius in a mass spectrometer? And we know from our discussion that the smaller the particle, the greater its centripetal acceleration, and therefore the smaller its radius. So the answer should be A, because carbon-12 has the smallest mass. If you liked this question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.